So we have been working on constructing a new type of quasi-crystal based on geometric first principles. Um, and we have been uh, fairly successful in terms of cataloging the different, um, at least the important properties of the quasi-crystal. So you can think of a quasi, the, a radial version of a quasi-crystal, a spherical version of a quasi-crystal to look something uh, of this kind. Uh, which if you look carefully, you will see it's basically um, not really a, a, a very simple object. It's got it's all kinds of uh, symmet uh, symmetry properties, but it is um, a lattice or a grid. You can think of these little blobs that you see on this, uh, this object as, as the nodal points or the grid points, and then you have the uh, edges connecting the two uh, or connecting different vertices. Um, and uh, the other interesting thing is that these are made up of uh, platonic units, which are tetrahedra in this case. What we want to do next is uh, build dynamics on, on a grid like this, which is a quasi-grid quasi or quasi-lattice, um, and try to understand what kind of flow pattern, what kind of physics is sustainable in a grid like this. Some of you who are familiar with how computational or dynamical physics works, generally in numerical simulation, what we do is we take a regular grid, which is a much simpler grid than the one object that I showed you here. Uh, it is regular in the sense that it's e e uh, equidistantly or equally spaced, so the nodes are equispaced, and there is a regular structure to it. Um, so what 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 one one would do, or what physicists nor computational physicists normally do, is take a set of equations uh, that they want to simulate, based on on the nature of physics that they want to understand, and then solve that equation on a grid like this, and then study the different uh, physics that come out of of the dynamical simulations, and that helps us to understand various different phenomena uh, that. Mm, that happen all around us, from from microscopic scales to all the way to uh, astrophysical scales, all all across different scales. So we want to do the same thing, but we want to do it on a quasi lattice, uh, pretty much. So um, the project that I'm uh, getting started with uh, here uh, very soon would be to understand uh, a similar physics on this lattice, except that we would be doing it on a discrete uh, setting in the sense that you could think of each of these vertice vertices as, as a vertex configuration or a vertex type depending upon the connections that they uh, sustain and each vertex type has uh, a set of tiles which are forced by this vertex type based on some legal uh, rules that are permissible in a quasi-crystal and those forced tiles become the empire of this vertex uh, configuration. And so for each of these vertices, we would have similar vertex types and their corresponding uh, empires. So we want to model the phason dynamics or the physical dynamics of phasons on a quasi lattice based on vertex types and empires. And we believe this is an interesting formalism because it's based on um, first principle geometric, first geometric principles or geometric first principles rather. Every vertex type uh, has its uh, field of influence, which are the empires, or which, which is the empire of that particular vertex type. So you have a geometry um, spanned by vertex types and their corresponding empires. So this is an interesting way of characterizing um, every point, which is not a regular point, unlike a regular grid, uh, characterizing every point in a quasi-grid uh, with its field of influence, which, which are the empires. Uh, and uh, we want to do mo molecular dynamic simulations on this kind of lattice and on this kind of geometry uh, and understand what kind of uh, physics, dynamical physics, uh, we observe. And that will lead us to analyzing uh, in a theoretical framework uh, what that means in terms of equations that be um, perhaps new equations that that we will be able to derive and new solutions to uh, old problems which are hitherto unsolved.